Hey guys, Avi here, and welcome back to the Codex. In this video, we're going to be continuing our Java series, learning all about for loops in Java. Let's get started. So first thing first, guys, let's give you a hypothetical situation. Imagine I told you to print out a certain string 50 times, right? For example, say that string was hello world. The first and probably the most obvious way you think about it is doing something like this. So send the out.print line, hello world, and then copying and pasting this as many times as needed. For example, if I said five times, you'd probably do something like this. One, two, three, four, five. Save that, compile it, java c main.java, and then run the file. And you'd be like, ta-da, I've done this. Well, yes, you have, and this is fantastic. But what if I asked you to do it 50 times, 500 times, 5,000 times? That's when you're like, oh, that's a lot of copying and pasting of code. There has to be a better way. That's where for loops come into play. For loops are basically a way you can iterate over a certain variable or iterate over a certain sequence of numbers. To create a for loop in Java, the syntax is actually a little bit different from maybe Python or from Swift that you previously may have dealt with. In this scenario, guys, to create a for loop in Java, you have to do something like this. For, and then inside of the brackets, the for loop is divided into three main parts. The first part is the initialization of your variable. The second part is the condition for your for loop. And the third part is the basically how you're going to iterate your variable to that condition. For example, say I said that something like this int i is equal to zero. So this part is executed right when I run the for loop. And what this does is it creates a variable i whose value is zero. Now my condition for the for loop is i should run this for loop until my value i is less than or is equal to 10. So that means that i is equal to zero, i should be less than 10. And for every iteration where I do the for loop and i has not been updated, I wanna go ahead and increase my i by one. So I can say something like this, i is equal to i plus one, or using shorthand syntax, I can say i plus plus. So again, there are three parts to our for statement. We have statement one, which is executed before all the code inside of our for loop. We have the second statement, which is our condition, and this condition is checked every single time we run the for loop. And then last but not least, we iterate our condition in order to ultimately one day meet our i less than 10 condition. Fantastic. So this is how you create a for loop. And right now, if you can imagine, this should run 10 times. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and go back to our initial challenge of printing out hello world 10 times. And I'm going to say system out a print line, hello world. Okay. So we created this for loop int i is equal to zero, i less than 10, i plus plus, system out of print line, hello world. Let's go ahead and run this and let's see what happens. So java c main dot java, hit enter, and then java main. And we see over here, I can extend this, we have just about 10 hello worlds. Awesome. So hopefully that made sense, guys. And that again is how almost every single for loop will be written. You'll have some initial variable, some condition, and then some way to iterate that variable in order to match that condition. Now I have a challenge for you. Instead of printing out hello world 10 times, I want you to print out every single even number from zero to 10, okay? And that means that I want you to print out 10 as well. If you wanna go ahead and attempt this challenge, again, I wanna see the output zero, two, four, six, eight, and 10, okay? Go ahead and pause this video, try attempting that challenge. I'm going to go ahead and pause it right now. Okay, awesome. So if you were able to do that, fantastic. Congratulations. And if you weren't, don't worry. This is a learning process. I'm here to help you. So the task at hand was to print out the first five or six even numbers from zero to 10. So we saw over here that this is the condition that modifies our variable. Right now, it's being incremented by one every time step. However, we want to increment it by every even number. That means that adding two to it instead of one. So I can say over here, i is equal to i plus two. However, my second condition was also that I want to go ahead and print out 10. When my condition i or my variable i reaches 10, 10 less than 10 is false because it's actually equal to the value. So I'm going to update this condition to be i less than or equal to 10. Now in this scenario, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And then once i is added again to 12, 12 is less than, 12 is no longer less than 10 or less than or equal to 10. And then this entire for loop will stop. So I'm going to go ahead and print this out. System.out.println i. 
and let's take a look and see what happens. So go ahead and run this over here, Java C main, Java main, and we get right over here, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Awesome. So again, to reiterate, you can always modify your sort of counter however you like. You could have multiplied it, added, it, subtracted, it, divided. It. If I want you to print out all the numbers from 100 to 0 going down, you could do something like this. i is equal to 100. i should be greater than 0. And in every time step, I want you to reduce i by 1. So again, what this for loop would do is give me all the numbers from 100 to 0, not including 0. If I want to include 0, I just have to say greater than or equal to 0. Running this, java c main not java, java main gets me all the numbers from 100 to 0. Fantastic. So again, these, this is for loops in a nutshell. As you can see, it's very efficient. Instead of having to run the exact same code x amount of times, I can go ahead and specify that condition in my for loop and then run any code I want inside of the for loop. Thanks so much for listening, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.